family regretting it right now. Yeah, let's talk about that, Jen. Let's talk about family and holidays. I don't know what in my right mind thought, oh, yeah, come for dinner. Wait, Jen, do y'all have Thanksgiving? Yeah, we yes. had it like a month ago. Okay, so what are you doing anything this Thursday? Work. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a regular Thursday for us. It's a regular Thursday for them, but they don't have Black Friday. Remember, they watch videos of us shopping and laugh. That's what they do in Canada. Oh, Teresa, did you listen to last week's show, Teresa? No, because I went to go listen. She doesn't know this story. No, I went to listen the other day, um, but I was running, and my it was too quiet. I know. And I, gotta, I couldn't hear it. I got to so. bring it up. I'll, okay. I'll work the, on that. The big thing in our office on Black Friday, around 10, 11 in the morning, everybody grabs coffee, and we sit around <laughs> a computer, and we YouTube videos of you guys shopping. <laughs> Oh my god, that's the greatest. Because y'all are insane. <laughs> you are running each other over for toilet paper and toothpaste. <laughs> well, right. But Jed, Jed, didn't you say like it, it used to kind of make sense, right? Because it was a TV for 20 bucks. It was bucks. big stuff. Right. But it was like, year, a th- like she's like, it was a thousand inch like TV. 20 rolls of Pat Bounty toilet paper. <laughs> it's like, come to that. grandma's over for this stuff. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you know, but toilet paper is expensive, so. Yeah. Tough well, economic times. In, in the United States, we have hit an all-time low where we will literally punch each other for toilet paper. You know, and basically, Jen said it made sense when it was a big screen TV, but now we've just all gone downhill. Oh, I totally forgot. Speaking of big screen TVs, Ryan uh, wanted to buy some fancy TV. I don't even, couldn't even tell you what it is. Um because we're currently have no TV in our living room. We have like a computer screen that will play the basic cable. But so he negotiated a deal and our TV is supposed to be coming in Monday because the black Friday deals weren't supposed to be good enough. I oh. have no idea. It was like a, it's a $2,000 TV. It's absurd. Nice. But it's something called like green thumb.com or green something. And you just like negotiate, you it's not like you bid. You just say how much you want to pay for your TV. Uh-huh. And then someone will, like, counter. So how much did he get the $2,000 TV for? No, he got it for $2,000, oh. but it's regularly, like, 3000 Wow, Which that's is, pretty cool. Let's, let's not talk about how absurd that is. But... but it's probably one of those 3D. It's called, like, an LEOD4. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, it's yeah, it's something fancy. But, um, you know, nothing that you can't get next year for uh, 500 but we won't go there. Um, yeah, we won't go there. <laughs> See, I'm not interested in all these fancy 4D HD TVs because my eyes are so crappy. Everything's fuzzy anyway. <laughs> right. Like, we got an HD TV, and it doesn't look any different to me last year. I'm like, it's everything. It's still fuzzy. Wait, me too. Seriously. My I'm like, my eyes aren't good enough for this. This thing apparently, like, something with when you see black, it's like a true black, and regular TVs aren't true black. I don't even know what that means. And I'm like, but my eyes, they're fine with whatever black I'm currently seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Also, do I need to see the housewives in like microscopic detail? I don't. I don't. You know. It's not like I don't want it. Of Teresa flipping the table without forty. I understand. I know. I'm totally with you. Do I really need to see how much makeup they have caked on their face? It's too much. I agree, Margaret. It's too much. Football. Yeah. I know. I don't think the housewives like it either because no. I think they like the soft focus. A little Who fuzzy. would want it's Not it. doing them any favors. Right. <laughs> I mean, football, yeah, maybe some nice National Geographic shows. All right, makes sense. But, yeah, I don't want to see those bitches close up. I really don't. No, so, not at all. I don't have the proper TV viewing for that. I don't watch TV that needs to see anything close up or beautiful, okay? Because my TV viewing is just all crappy shows. Bad reality. That's what I right. look for. Uh, so, so Jen's holiday has already passed. Uh, Jen's Black Friday shopping is not going to have. So, Jen, do they have it there? Any shopping? They do. They're trying to like because so many Canadians go to the states on Friday to shop. Yeah, they oh. tried the last couple of years to get people to stay here and shop. So all the stores do it. 
Um, and there are some good deals, but it's not like people aren't lining up. Um, do you guys do Boxing Day? No. We do not. Boxing Day, I think, is our equivalent of Black Friday, like the day after Christmas. And that but when day everybody... after Christmas sales are a big thing here, too. So we kind of do this twice. Yeah, that's when, like, everybody is going out, like, lining up at 6 in the morning to go shopping. Well, Cyber yeah. Monday is really good, too. The what? Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Oh, yeah. But, wait, so, you know how they're Cyber Monday? So now, because they're trying to make Americans not such assholes with all this shopping, they also now have Giving Tuesday, where you're supposed to donate to a charity on the Tuesday after Cyber Monday. Oh, isn't that fun? And yeah. Small Business Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> and Taco Tuesday? Taco like, Tuesday. You're so organized. <laughs> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> small Business Saturday. What happens on Wednesdays? <laughs> wine on yeah, Wednesday. Wine. Yeah, like wine. Then we got Thirsty Thursday. Yeah, hump day. Wednesday's hump day. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank God it's Friday. So, yeah. The states are yeah. so organized. Right? You guys are awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, uh, Margaret, Hi, you are yes. having, let's talk about your family, uh, Holidays. Yes. Your family Thanksgivings. Oh, so I have, I'm just going to say family members. Right. Who have exceedingly restrictive diets. Uh oh. And they're voluntary. I'll put it that way. They're uh-huh. voluntary and they seem to be selective when they're observed. Uh, so, <laughs> it, it's um i find it to be more of a manipulation technique than anything so like what kind of slut but, yeah so this one particular person that's the worst offender is i always say like she's down to eating bird seed at this point <laughs> like <laughs> first and none of this is like vegetarianism like most people are because the animals or whatever it's or all these sort of because they have celiacs uh, or anything in right? my, no in my opinion we've got a severe case of hypochondria happening here <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> so you know years ago it started with like no meat and then no sugar and then okay you're not look you can't make this stuff up then they decided salt was no longer healthy. Salt. And but wait, wait for it. So now this person will not go to the beach anymore because she doesn't even want to breathe in the salt air. Oh my god. <laughs> <gasps> oh bless you. So you see why um this makes and and for those listening who might not know, I have the least amount of I guess it's not that I have the least amount of food hang up because I'm a fairly picky eater, but I am not a healthy eater. I, I could live off of gas station food. I eat gas station <laughs> hot dogs. I love Cheetos. I and love chicken Hostess fingers. Cakes. I eat chicken fingers, Kraft mac and cheese. So it's needless to say this person and I are on the opposite end of the spectrum when it comes to our uh, dining habits. So it it's tough. And anyway, so this person has now like even even things that people who are very healthy and eat organic and whatever still typically eat like olive oil. You know, and things like all of that is just out the window now. So and what do they eat? I think that's why I'm like, I don't know. I think we're down to birdseed because <laughs> like everything left. That exactly, and so it's some of these family members in this this group of family are sort of difficult, and maybe not my husband and I's favorite company. And so it's sort of like at Thanksgiving. It's like, what's the point? What are we? What are we doing here? You're not even right. you don't even eat this food. Here's your ice cube on a stick. <laughs> right. Um, and I and some of these family members have such an aversion to the microwave that if I like <laughs> use it to melt some butter or you know anything when I'm preparing Thanksgiving dinner, they actually leave my house. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like, you, you, what you is the microwave going to do? Wait a minute. The microwave. <laughs> The microwave sends off uh, dangerous waves. Hello. Apparently, like, look, I get maybe not like you know pressing your face against the glass and like watching the thing cook. Like, I get not wanting to do that. 
I could even maybe, you know, understand, like, not even wanting to stand in the kitchen. Like, fine. Like, I personally clearly don't care enough about my brain to leave the kitchen. But even if you don't want to be in the same room, okay, they they go outside and sit in their car while I'm oh running the microwave. And they stay there for, like, 20 minutes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would just so run the microwave you- the whole day. <laughs> Well, I was going to say, which at the end of the day works in my favor because it gets me a break from these people. But, you know, it's true. Maybe next year, if we have it back at my house again, I should just cook the whole meal in the microwave. Oh, that's what I would do. stay outside the whole night. Wait, so, uh, Marge, so you didn't send her the little screen grab of like, oh, I'm cooking a turkey in the microwave. How long do I need to do it? Do that. Uh, Yeah, that would be something. (laughs) But um, anyway, so all of this drama over the years has this year led us to uh we've told both sides of the family even those that we don't necessarily have issues with but just for the sake of hitting the reset button back in march my husband and i made a reservation for two at ruth chris and that's what we're doing and i called the other day and it's all booked up so no one could come with us if they wanted to at this point <laughs> <It's a reservation. laughs> uh, oh i love it so there's so no that's room. what we will be doing. Yes. Perfect. So she's going you to know? Ruth Chris for Thanksgiving holiday. We, how about we yeah. are? How, oh, well, you know what? Let's uh, let me take a quick break, guys. We've uh, filled up this half, and we will uh, we'll be right back. Hello and welcome back to a couple of instigators. Quick break, had to uh, play some commercials there because we are on the radio on Sunday (laughs) night on WRFR. Then we will be dropping to podcast on Mondays and we are on everything, everything. iHeartRadio, SoundCloud, iTunes. You can follow us on Couple of Instigators Facebook, Couple of Instigators on Instagram, and uh, because there's so many now, I'm not changing the name, but I did add a couple of more instigators. <laughs> <laughs> so you can still find us on a couple of instigators. Okay, so we're talking about family dinners. This is how we ended it uh, last uh, the last uh, one. So uh, next we're going to, Teresa, what, what goes on with you for, for Thanksgiving? So this Thanksgiving, I am leaving and going to Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, my to favorite. Have, yes, it's so pretty. I can't I wait it. to uh, go to my brother-in-law and sister-in-law's house. Uh-huh. And then my mother-in-law is also coming with us. So it's going to be all five of us together. Um, I'm hopeful that's okay. It's all going to be fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're planning on just really eating. And then my sister-in-law are going to be drinking martinis nonstop. Right. So nice. we'll think... I think it'll be fine, but we have discussed. So my brother-in-law has gained a little bit of weight, but not like tragically like obese. He just looks like a car salesman now. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so he said he wanted to prove that he was still in better shape than his wife, Lydia. And so we're going to have an NFL type compact, uh, col- column, combine, 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 combine. Um, So I'm super excited that we're just going to be, like, drunk running, like, laps. Nice. Uh, You're insane. (laughs) But I'm not quite sure what we're going to do. And then we're also going to hike some, I think, at some point, if the weather's nice. Uh And then uh, we are trying to figure out how long of a hike we wanted to do because we also want to continue on with the drinking. And, um... Yes, my this... mother-in-law was like, well, I can do whatever y'all can do. So I think her two, her two sons decided they wanted to do like a 15 mile hike. So what? it's going to get into, <laughs> yeah, it's going to get interesting. I'm bringing treats. You're bringing the cat? No, I said I'm treats. bringing treats for oh, myself. Oh, treats. Okay. <laughs> the, cat. the cat. I thought you were bringing the cat. No, no, no. Serena is, she has to stay outside. I haven't even looked into someone to feed her that yet i should probably go do that what do you mean stay outside well i'm not going to be home so she has to be outside wait what the whole time you're gone it's only four days wait 
Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. This is insane. It's not that cold here, guys. Wait a minute. What? You're locking <laughs> her up outside? No, she's going to free range. What? What?